morning everybody, welcome back to Wildwood Cottage and uh, welcome back to my garden in Wales. Having a different aspect today, I've decided to sit in the uh, garden, in the shed and uh, have my morning coffee and I thought that I would let you know that the polytunnel is finally up, plastic on, hoops done, finished. Can't believe it, after all that effort trying to get that polytunnel up. I did lose my temper, I'm sorry, I did lose my temper um, putting the plastic on. Got myself in an artist's strop and uh, my husband managed to persevere with me and get me back outside and we got it finished. Wow, what a nightmare job that was. But it's done, it's up. Um, if you haven't seen any of my other videos about me putting up my polytunnel, they are in the library of my channel so uh, do have a little look through and see what you can find if you haven't already subscribed please do like and subscribe and uh, it really does help YouTube to promote my videos but uh, today I am relaxing in the shed I'm relaxing in the shed with my cup of coffee and my piglet mug and I'm going to go down to the polytunnel and have a look and show you how it's turned out I'm really pleased with it I can't believe that I've actually done it and I can't believe that I've actually put it up. My husband keeps coming in and says, there's a polytunnel in the garden. <laughs> he woke up this morning and said, oh, your polytunnel's blowing away in the wind last night. Not a good thing to say, is it? But uh, there you go. Anyway, today I've got a very busy day. I've got a peg loom to make for an order from uh, my Etsy shop. I've got to get that done and get that out in the post. Housework day today on a Friday and uh, I want to get some gardening done because I've got loads of plants that need to go out and um, the weather's set to change over the weekend and we're hopefully going to get some rain and some thunderstorms. We are under, excuse me I've got the sun in my eye, we are under a um, yellow warning for rain so I'm hoping that we're going to get some rain but uh, yeah, lots to do. I've also got to think about laying out the polytunnel. I don't want to be out there in the rain and the uh, thunder. I don't want to get struck by lightning. But uh, yeah, everything does need doing. I don't know whether you've seen this space, but this is my shed. I converted it last year um, from a tired old potting shed into a nice little garden room. So I'm sitting in here. I need to spend more time in here, really. I've had that much to do in the garden. I've not done anything else. Anyway, enough waffle. I'm going to uh, take you down to the polytunnel, let you see what I've done and then we're going to talk about how I'm going to lay it out and I'm going to get my tomatoes planted and my cucumbers and my aubergines and finally get them in the ground and finally get something growing because the sun's been that hot, everything's died. But uh, yeah, so let's go down to the polytunnel and uh, we'll go and have a little look at that, shall we? So I'll see you down there in a minute. We'll go and feed the chickens on the way past and uh, we'll say hello to the girls and then we'll go and see the polytunnel. So see you in a minute. Say hello Grace. Grace would like to have her breakfast. She likes to have a little wander while everybody else gets started and then she goes in and has hers. Come on then. See everyone's having their breakfast. Everybody's happy. Pippa's still being broody. Grace always seems to think there's something more. Right then, so are you ready for the big reveal? There we go! It's all done. It's all up, it's all functional. And uh, Gertrude looks splendid next to it, doesn't she? So I haven't managed to go in it since it's been finished. It was finished on Thursday. But you know, it's been so hot, I just haven't been able to go in. No, it's been far too hot. So this is my first time really going in it since it's finished. So all the trenches have all been finished all round the sides, all, to, all done in. Um, this side here I had to sieve with that sieve, 14 inches, 15 foot along, I had to do that with all the soil. This is all the stones that I managed to sieve out to make that uh, really nice compost so that it doesn't tear the plastic. Then along here was nice friable earth anyway, so that's gone down there. 
It's all tacked here. It needs finishing off. We haven't got many nails along here. Uh, we both ran out of steam. That's why this plastic hasn't been cut yet. So I'm going to do that today. All this is all finished. Listen to the bush. The bee plant's back, look. You see the bees? They love this bush. This is the goat's beard. <laughs> right. So all this side's all been finished, all dug in. And then if we walk along the side, it's all been nicely watered in now. It's all tight, all nice and tight. You can see the spot, hot spot tape underneath. It's given a lovely skin on it. Um, it did get scratched as we were pulling it over. We weren't very vigilant, but it hasn't put a hole in it. It's all filled in along here. And it's all filled in around here as well. Now I did follow the instructions but it feels like it's come away quite far. But uh, I did what the instructions told me but you know the trouble that I had with those instructions. So who knows. Uh, it did say to pull it really really tight so be careful because we nearly put our fingers through the plastic when they did say pull it as tight as you can. But uh, yeah for some reason the plastic's not as tough as we thought it would be, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And then the same along this side. So yeah, I'm very pleased, very pleased indeed. So should we go in? Oh, I just sank. <laughs> right, should we go in? Right, so there we are. We're inside. I think I'm going to open the doors. Because it's very hot. There you go, we'll go in, I'll open this door as well, but this door I have to be careful of because this is what did the damage to the plastic here, because we stupidly forgot to shut the door when we started putting the plastic on. Right, so you can see it's over there, along here, this is the end on one side. And then that's the other side. So as you can see, I've not laid any of the beds out yet because I've not decided what I'm going to do. But what I'm thinking is of doing a small bed here, along here. I've got to leave the 32 inches for the door. So that's not a problem. I'm still thinking of doing a double door with this one, but that can wait for the time being. But behind here, I'm thinking of doing a narrower bed and doing 30 inches because there's 44 inches on this side. So I'm thinking of doing 30 inches along here, all the way down. And then that will mean then that I won't have to walk on the soil. I can just reach over and start picking the tomatoes because from where it would be if I did it a full bed, I can't reach to the edge to get to the tomato. So I would physically have to stand on the soil to be able to pick the tomatoes. So my thinking is if I do a bed 30 inches that way and then have that all the way along, the same on the other side and then in the middle another bed of about 20-24 inches in the middle and then that will give me a path on either side to uh, be able to walk back down and harvest the vegetables. Now I'm thinking if I do a narrow one here say sort of um, a grow bags width along the middle. I can then grow tomatoes in the middle and pick either side and then that will be a lot easier. That door's going to open outwards but I'm going to leave a space over there so in the winter we can come in here, sit in here and we can get warm um, and be able to sit outside um, and enjoy the outside as well. And then in the winter when it, things aren't growing so much I'll let the chickens in here and let them scratch and enjoy the soil. Gosh, I tell you what, it's not warm enough warm in here. So what I've got to do first is I've got to tidy up. I've got to sort these doors out because they don't shut properly. I need to move this piece of wood over to here 
and instead of it being flush there it's going to be flush here because the door doesn't shut properly because this piece of wood here overlaps the wood and uh, it's not closing properly so that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to fix the doors up um, and then I'm going to have a look at what wood I've got um, to fit out the inside for the beds so I'm going to show you that in the next video because I've also got um, a peg loom to build ready for sending in the post because I've sold a peg loom so I've got to finish building that finish making that and get that sent off in the post today so I'm going to be busy 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 as usual but uh, what I'm thinking here while you're here is on this side I'm thinking of putting some trellis. I've got four pieces of trellis, so I'm thinking of one here, one here, and then on the other side, on the opposite side of the door, of doing the same. So a piece of trellis here, and a piece of trellis here, and then the same down the other end, a piece of trellis on either side, and then I've got a rambling rector rose up the top. So I'm gonna put that here, so I don't want to be able to walk down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it across here because I've got this access way round the side and I've also got access through the polytunnel. So I don't really need this. So I'm going to have a bit of a screen across here and a rambling rector growing up there. And then along this side here, I'm going to have clematis. I've got about four different colors. And then along here, Along this side of the polytunnel, I'm going to put a um, climbing frame up on the side of the tunnel. And uh, I've got passion fruit. So I've got three different passion fruits. So I thought I'd have one there, one there, and one there. So that's my plans for this side of the polytunnel. You can see the difference in the height um, from inside to outside. So I need to build this side up. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it so far. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I mean, it's a shame about the plastic getting um, damaged, but it's not gone straight through. So it has pulled tight, really, really tight. So I've got a few finishing off things to do today. And then this evening, when the weather's cooled down, I'm gonna go in there and try and do some fitting out. So I will show you that tomorrow. So around this side here, I'm thinking at the front here, I've got two Belfast sinks. So I'm thinking of putting one there and one there as a raised bed. And then along here, I was kind of thinking of putting the raspberries because they don't need sun. So I may be able to pop them along here. If I build a soil, a bed, a retaining bed to stop the roots growing through my plastic, I could uh, do my raspberries here. The only other thought I had was, was to do a path here next to the polytunnel and then widen this here. Instead of having this narrow bed here, I could widen it, have this as the path along here and then I could plant all sorts of lovely things along here um, and then straight along the wall down there. So, yeah, I haven't decided yet, but I've got this lovely wall to grow things on. Um, which is my next thinking of growing along this wall. Mr Stoat lives in here somewhere, between here and the chickens. Um, so I think that would be quite nice, a widened bed. It saves me raising the path level then. Um, just be easier, I suppose. And then I can have Gertrude there and widen the bed out and grow my fruit all along here. Because the things that I'm thinking of putting in don't need a loss of sun. I've got a Kiwi Jenny. She'd probably be grateful of a screen from the frost. I've got two of them. I've got two fig. Um, and I've got my dwarf fruit trees and my raspberries. So I was thinking of just piling it all in along here and getting it in the soil. So what I could do, you see, is pop a piece of wood along here and then build up the path. That would be really good. Excuse the bright sunlight. So that's my plans for today. Um, that's what I'm hoping to get done today. 
But as I say, I've got a peg loom to finish. I've done most of it, I've just got one or two pegs to finish. But I need my workbench out of the polytunnel, so I'm going to move that now and take that back in. The sun's coming out, so that's lovely. And uh, as you can see, we're all done. So that's all that building work finished, finally. Thank goodness for that, I'm so pleased it's done. I can move on now. I've got tomatoes and cucumbers to go in, so I'd like to be able to get that done today. Um, well, this week, get things sorted this week. But uh, I'm going to make some more peg looms this week and pop them in my Kofi shop either the weekend or next week. So if you are interested in any weaving looms, do uh, pop over there and have a look over there and see if there's anything you want. I'm also going to have weaving kits in there as well natural dyed weaving kits so if you're interested in having a look at them pop over there too so the Kofi link is in the description bar below and if you do want to buy me a coffee or the Gertie and the girls a treat then uh, there is an option there for you to do that as well and it is much appreciated it is a nice treat for all of us for all the work that we put in on the channel so yeah anyway I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next episode at the weekend. So enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now. Bye bye.